649, taking a live look from our Valley Sky Cam down on I-94. And a little foggy out there today. Got another foggy start to the day. Maybe some slippery spots out on the roads. Meteorologist Lisa Green and Al Amit will have all the details just about two and a half minutes away. And weather and traffic on the ones. It is kind of murky out there. They yeah. use that word a couple of times. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lisa Badeau here with Kyle Bosch. We're getting started here with our nonstop news and weather to the top of the hour to help you plan your day. And we start now with breaking news. One man is in custody after a small fire inside an apartment building. Fire crews were called to an apartment building around 1.30 a.m. in the 4300 block of 10th Avenue South. A trash can was on fire inside a laundry room in the building. Now, the fire was quickly put out. Fire officials say that one man was arrested at the scene. His name has not yet been released, but officials say the suspect has been involved in previous fire incidents. Extremely thankful. Those words are being used by the Becker County Sheriff this morning after he says a deputy was nearly hit during a traffic stop. Take a look at the video. We were just playing it behind you. We've got it up full screen for you right now. It happened along Highway 59 near Westbury, Minnesota yesterday morning. Sheriff Todd Glander says it was certainly a very close call when a car went out of control on the icy road, nearly hitting the deputy and a car he had stopped. Fortunately, nobody hurt and no damage. The sheriff says they're using this video and releasing it as a reminder of the dangers of distracted driving and asking people to slow down and pay attention to emergency vehicles stopped on the side of the road. We're just hitting 651. It's time for weather and traffic on the ones. And, you know, with temperatures and the fog out there, we could be seeing some of those slick conditions again. Yeah, part of the reason for that slick road surface there was because yesterday we had similar conditions. We had fog and temperatures below uh, the, the freezing point. In addition to that, a little mist, too. And that deposited on the roads and froze and caused some slick spots, especially over in Lakes Country. Today, more fog, as we just showed you, and you can see on our tower cam. Uh, things are looking a little bit on the soupy side here this morning uh, with that fog and temperatures are below freezing. So just keep in mind that conditions may be a lot like yesterday where we do have the fog in place this morning. Here's the good news. Starting off below freezing, but over the next few hours, we'll see those temperatures rise above and that will really help us out as far as road conditions are concerned. In addition, we'll see that fog eventually dissipate. The sky is clear and we'll get some sunshine into the afternoon hours and that'll help our temperatures to rise into the 50s today in a lot of places in the valley. We're looking at temperatures in the 20s right now, 25 in Bemidji and Wadena, 29 in Fargo, 29 in and Grand Forks and 25 over in Jamestown. Visibility is a problem here over toward Vi Fergus Falls and uh, the Detroit Lakes area. We're at a half mile there and then up Highway 59 to Thief River Falls less than a mile there as well. So we're dealing with that uh, which is always a problem. Visibility being uh, brought down by the fog but on top of that again those slick roads may be an issue. Over toward Fargo at the airport we're at two miles and Devil's Lake now reporting less than two miles of visibility and this will hang on for a couple of hours here this morning. Quiet conditions on the radar and we'll continue to see conditions improve today. So by the afternoon hours, here's a look at what you can expect for the valley. Some 40s over into Minnesota, around 40 degrees up in Roseau where we may be stuck under the clouds longer. But the rest of us clearing out, thankfully, and we'll get to see some sunshine to brighten things up. It's been kind of a, a gray couple of days here. So temperatures in the mid to upper 50s in southeastern North Dakota and right around 50 degrees, a little bit below that perhaps over in Lakes Country today. So looking good. And this is the start of that warm up for for Friday back into the 60s, even near 70 in some locations for Friday. It's going to be incredible, and that's perfect timing as we head into the weekend, near 60 degrees both Saturday and Sunday. Let's check in now with Al. Uh, undoubtedly, there are some folks that are saying, what fog? I don't, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Let me tell you something. I was just on 45th Street. 45th Street looked uh, like it was in pretty darn good shape, and uh, all of a sudden we hit the fog out here at uh, 45th and Interstate 94, and uh, I'm just pulling up on Cheyenne Street right now. We have a two-vehicle crash. Anyway, be careful of the fog. But we have a two-vehicle crash. The uh, West Fargo police are here. It's an SUV and a pickup. It's right at the intersection of uh, Cheyenne Street and the ramps onto Interstate 94. Uh, it's got traffic backed up here, both north and southbound. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get onto the ramps here or not. I think I will be. But uh, look out for that. That's definitely a traffic tie-up this morning. Again, the fog is an issue, but it uh, shouldn't cause any serious uh, travel problems, at least here around the FM metro area. story at this hour, though, is this two-vehicle crash here on uh, Interstate 94 and Cheyenne Street involving a pickup. 
and an SUV. It doesn't look like anyone is injured. Al Ahmed Valley today, traffic. 654 now, and we do have some new information for on you for you on a story that we first broke yesterday on the Valley Today. Investigators say they believe they now have a cause for an explosion that hurt nine firefighters in Seattle. According to fire officials, the eight firefighters and one battalion chief were responding to a report of a natural gas leak when a large explosion happened. They are all hospitalized in satisfactory condition with cuts, bruises, and burns. Fire crews say the explosion was likely caused by that natural gas leak. The blast sent debris across the area and windows were shattered in buildings as far as two blocks away. Today and tomorrow, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration will gather with experts to examine what they call an alarming increase in roadway deaths. Those meetings are planning to explore ways to tackle human behavioral issues that are contributing to 94% of crashes. It all comes in response to a dramatic increase in vehicle fatalities last year. Now, they are also planning an announcement after the meetings on the agency's vision for improving traffic safety. Six people are facing drug charges after Fargo police conducted a search warrant at a home near Shanley High School in South Fargo. Police say they found marijuana and ecstasy pills and arrested those six people during the raid in the 1900 block of 54th Avenue South, just a few blocks from the Shanley campus. Now, officers tell us that one of the most serious charges the people arrested could likely face is intent to distribute within a thousand feet of a school. The suspects' names have not yet been released. Crystal Sugar has named a new president. It's Tom Astrup, and he's beginning his new duties immediately. He's been with the company in a number of different executive capacities for more than 20 years. He will also take over as CEO when David Berg retires in August. Two people are named as finalists for the Fargo Park District Executive Director. Dave Leaker, who is the current Director of Parks at the Fargo Park District, and Joel Vettel, who is a past Fargo Park, Park District Board Member and current Fargo Police Lieutenant, are the two finalists. Final interviews are scheduled for Monday. The search committee anticipates providing a recommendation to an ex of who will be the next Executive Director to the District Board coming up in April. Well, it's a time of year when many people who love to get out and garden start growing a little anxious for <laughs> spring to arrive. But until the ground is really ready, there are some things you can do with your green thumb inside. The Valley Today's Christy Larson joins us live from NDSU's Extension Service Office with more. Good morning, Christy. If you've been a little anxious to get your hands dirty this spring, you want to get a head start on your gardening, you can do so inside. At least that's what Todd, Todd Weinman's been telling me. And so what should people be starting with right now that they can start growing indoors and later move outdoors? Right now is a great time to start growing peppers. A lot of people will have a certain pepper that they enjoy more than another, and um, you can't always find the, maybe the exact kind you want or you want to grow your own. Um, peppers would be perfect. Broccoli is a good one. Um, many times people say, well, I want to grow tomatoes for myself, and I want to start them indoors. I would wait a couple weeks yet before you do that. Um, if you haven't started your onions, they, they, they could have been started about two weeks ago, so I would definitely start some onion seeds if you're going to. Herbs are fantastic to start right now. So. And then also we have, not only should you use some of that store-bought soil, but you also have some of these pods where you can put the seed right in it and put it into your container. Yep. And they'll expand. Um, you add water to these, and they'll just swell right up to that size. Um, really easy, straightforward. It's fun. And if people have any questions, that's where the extension service really comes into play. Yep. My phone number is 241-5707. And if I'm not there, just please leave a message with your name, phone number, and your horticulture question. I know that a lot of people are excited since we have been having those warmer temperatures. So it's good news that if you do have a green thumb, you can get started on things right now. Yeah, people are itching to get started, so it just adds to the spring the, fever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and it's, you know, we know that you can't go dig in the ground. It's, it's mm -hmm. too cold. But when you've got maybe 60-degree temperatures this weekend, you go out in the garage, start a little yeah. spring seating, and get things ready. Christy Larson reporting live for us this morning. Thank you, Christy. Let's get her answer now to our question of the morning on Facebook. Today's question, roughly 25% of adults say this is their favorite smell. The answer, I, I don't know if it's favorite. It's, got, it's definitely <laughs> like there. top four campfire. There's just something about it. And I then, except for the next day. I was just going to say. When your clothes smell like campfire the next day and you can't get it out, then you're yep. like, 
Then it just makes you long for the campfire all well, over again, I guess. And then you're sad you're not there. Yeah. But, but <laughs> in the moment, it's great, right? Yeah. Uh, hey, we might want a little campfire this morning to warm up. It's a little cool to start off, but later this afternoon, it's going to be pretty nice. We're starting off with fog. Temperatures below the freezing mark and visibility a problem. Here's a look at our latest reports. Le a quarter of a mile in Fergus Falls, it continues to deteriorate there. Same thing in Fargo, less than two miles and three quarters of a mile now in Grand Forks. So uh, just take it easy on the roads. Make sure you have your headlights on, even though the sun is rising this morning, so you're visible. And the roads may be a little slick, too. Later in the day, though, back into the 50s, sunshine, and we round out the week in the 60s. Very nice. Something to look forward to. Thanks for waking up with the Valley today. Remember, we'll have more local news and weather for you right here in just 25 minutes. Have a great Thursday, everybody. We will see you tomorrow morning.